Hi, I'm Matt Broomfield and welcome to the Cherwell Guide to the Hidden Gems of Oxford. Now, in your Freshers' Week, you're probably going to hear a lot of talk about where you should go in Oxford to drink and to eat, but we thought we'd show you some of the places that are a bit more off the beaten track, so let's go and have a look. You join me here in the Botanic Gardens, a beautiful green space in the heart of Oxford. If you have a bod card, then you can get free entry, and it's the perfect place to come and stroll with a sweetheart, sniffing the rhododendrons and admiring the giant pumpkins on a summer's afternoon. I'm here with Pete from the Botanic Garden, and Pete, I was wondering if you could tell me what you think is the biggest hidden gem in the Botanic Garden. Well, there's a lot of really, really good and exciting things, but I think the best gem is Tolkien's tree, which is the black pine. And I just think it's a beautiful tree, and we get people from all over the world coming to look at it. You join me here in the covered market, so-called because it's a market entirely covered by a roof. You can get anything here from half a pig at the butcher's to a natty haircut, but Cherwell's personal recommendation is the full English breakfast at Brown's Cafe. I'm outside Unicorn, a small second-hand clothing store on Ship Street. When I was 13, I had to pull out Indie Guide to Great Britain in uh, the NME, and uh, the lead singer of Foles came here, and the owner refused to sell him a cardigan because she didn't like the way he looked. But we're going to go in and have a look, because I think this could be one of the hidden gems of Oxford. <laughs> I'll certainly be wearing this to the first bop of the new term. <laughs> very nice indeed. Thank you very much. I'm here surrounded by bikes outside Zappy's Bike Cafe. I've never been here, but I've been reliably informed it's the best cafe in Oxford, and word on road is they have the best banana bread in the world. So let's check it out. So I'm here in Zappy's Bike Cafe in Bike Zone, and this is a, a cafe in a bike shop, so it's a bit like taking a thermos to your local branch of Halfords, but way, way nicer than that sounds. And so what I want to know is, why in your opinion is this place such a hidden gem? I just feel that if you get away from Corn Market, the hustle, the bustle, the impossibility of even walking anywhere without bumping into someone, and then you come here and it's just a complete dichotomy from that. It's literally just chilled, you can chat to us behind the counter, spend some time with us, we talk to you about coffee, explain why our coffee just tastes that little bit better than everywhere else, why we really care. And even though I don't own a bike, then I'm still welcome to come here. Yeah, yeah, of course, mate. Like, absolutely. I mean, on a Saturday, you might struggle with our cycle club, which we have sort of 70, 80 members all come back at the same time. And their bikes. And their bikes all stuffed up here. I mean, you'll, if you not wearing Lycra, of course, you're always welcome. But on a Saturday, it helps. There was a bloke in here just now wearing full body Lycra. <laughs> really? <laughs> I didn't see him. That, but that against the rules. To it. We got used to it. It's fine. Good. You're welcome as well. I, we can all come and get used to Lycra too here at yeah. Zappy's Bike Cafe. Thank you. In terms of bookshops, everyone bangs on a lot about Blackwells, but it's pretty expensive. And this place, the £2 bookshop, does what it says on the tin. All the books, £2. So for the impoverished English students amongst us, then that's a pretty good deal. So could you recommend a hidden gem in Oxford for us? Um, yeah, definitely. There's a, a sort of coffee bookshop uh, in the Jericho direction called Albion Beatnik, which has uh, an amusing, eclectic clientele and very nice coffee. Could you recommend a hidden gem anywhere in Oxford for us? So like a bar or a pub or a shop or a club or something? Um, Heroes on Ship Street uh, is, does paninis for 3.30 and uh, the woman there runs a very fine line between being grumpy and nice, uh, you know, which is always a thrill. There is a very nice place where you can have English breakfast and Bloody Marys in the morning, which is really cool. Cafe Coco. Cafe Coco, where's that? It's on Corley Road, at the really beginning of uh, Corley Road, mm -hmm. um, on your left hand side. And they actually also do happy hour cocktails after 9 pm, and they have really good pizzas. So, could you recommend a hidden gem for us anywhere in Oxford? Well, yeah, quite a hidden gem that I don't think students go to very often uh, is the Farmer's Market, which I believe is every Wednesday at Gloucester Green. And there's a Spanish stand there that sells all sorts of Spanish food, um, which is really good and quite cheap, actually. Well, so here we are back again at the offices, and hopefully you enjoyed that whistle-stop tour of just seven or eight of the nicest places in Oxford. Get out there and explore them for yourself. Thank you.